Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to a very famous geometry problem which appeared in several contests. At first, let's have a look on the picture. We are given an isosceles triangle ABC such that the angle BAC, this here, is equal to 20 degrees. Now, we choose points D and E on sides AB and AC such that we have a 70 angle here and a 60 degree angle here. So angle DCB is equal to 70 degrees and angle CBE should be equal to 60 degrees. Now we are asked to find the angle CDE which I marked here in orange and call X. For this problem there are a lot of different approaches. One approach is using trigonometry. But I want to present a solution which is very elementary. Our main idea is to draw in some points into the picture such that we have a lot of equal distances between the points. Now I introduce the points F and G in such a way that BC is equal to FC and FC is equal to FG. Now let's try to evaluate some angles and see what happens then. At first, since BC is equal to CF and since the angle here is equal to 80 degrees, we must also have that this angle here is also 80 degrees. Now from this we get that this angle here must be 180 degrees minus 80 minus 80. So this angle here is equal to 20 degrees. From this 20 degree angle here we can now calculate the angle GCF which is 80 degrees minus 20. So we get that this angle here is 60 degrees. But now since we constructed the point G in such a way that CF is equal to FG, we also get that this angle here is 60 degrees and therefore the last angle in this triangle here is also 60 degrees. This means that the triangle CFG is equilateral. So this side CG is also equal to all the other sides. Now we can also calculate the angle BDC, namely is the angle BDC equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees, which is 100 degrees, minus 70 degrees, which is 30 degrees. So this angle here is 40 degrees. Now we see that since GC is equal to GF and the angle FDC, which is 30 degrees, is exactly half of 60 degrees, we know that by the inscribed angle theorem, the point D must lie on the circle with center G and radius GC. So let's draw in this circle. From the fact that D lies on the circle with center G and radius GC, we know that GD must be equal to GC. Therefore, we get that this angle here must be the same as this angle, so this angle here is equal to 10 degrees. From this we directly get that this large angle here is equal to 40 degrees. Now we can also calculate the angle BEC, namely this angle here is equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees, so 100 degrees minus 60 degrees equals 40 degrees. So this angle here is also equal to 40 degrees. Now we have two 40 degree angles here over the base BG and therefore the points B, G, E and D must lie on a circle. Now we can say something about the angle GDE. Namely is the angle GDE equal to the angle GBE. And we know the angle CBE. Therefore we want to try to calculate the angle CBG. But here we now note that we figured out that CG is equal to ZB. And now since the angle GCB is equal to 80 degrees, we can calculate these two angles here. And we know that these two angles are 180 degrees minus 80 degrees divided by 2. So these two angles here are both equal to 50 degrees. Now we can calculate the angle GBE, namely this angle is equal to 60 degrees minus 50 degrees, so we have 10 degrees here, and therefore we know that this angle here is also equal to 10 degrees, and now we can evaluate the value of x, namely x is equal to 10 plus 10, so this is equal to 20 degrees, and this is our answer, and therefore we are done.